Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. Most people know that vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin and vitamin C is associated with immunity. Here's the thing, nobody is talking about vitamin B. Turns out that vitamin B has a ton of data on how it affects sleep, but nobody really knows about it. B vitamins have some incredible benefits for our sleep as well as processes in our body. If you're feeling tired and fatigued all the time, it could very easily be a vitamin B12 vitamin B6, or just general vitamin B deficiency. B12 and B vitamins in general really help your overall body function properly. B vitamins release energy from carbohydrates and fat, and they help break down amino acids. They deliver oxygen and energy to different parts of the body, so they are essential. We really need proper levels of vitamin B to function at our physical peak as well as our mental peak. Did you know that there are eight vitamin Bs? It's pretty amazing when you start to think about it. Both B6 and B12 are thought to play a role in sleep, partly because both help the body produce serotonin and melatonin. I wanna break down each one of these so you know the differences between B6 and B12. Let's start with B6. B6 is found in foods like dairy, like so milk, eggs, cheese, of course, fish, whole grains. By the way, I have plenty more information about the vitamins that you need to get to get some of your highest quality sleep on my YouTube channel. So do me a favor, subscribe there. We send out videos about twice a week and you're gonna love them. Back to vitamin B6. What does it do? It supports your immune function, so kind of like vitamin C. It aids in cognitive development and function, but guess what? It affects your dreams. So if you're one of those people who's interested in dreams, the B vitamins are definitely your friends. B6 turns out can increase dream recall, meaning if you have a dream journal and you wake up and you're trying to remember your dreams to write them down, the more B6 that you've got on board, the more likely you are to be able to recall. Also, this helps with something called lucid dreaming. Now, I love lucid dreaming. I am a lucid dreamer. For folks out there who may not know what lucid dreaming is, lucid dreaming is where you kind of wake up inside the dream and realize that you're in a dream. And then you can do all these fun, fantastical kind of things. So it's pretty interesting. But what's most important is it's important in the structure of REM sleep, which is when you have these lucid dreams. A lack of B6 is linked to things like insomnia and depression. Remember, higher intakes of B6 in older adults has also been connected to a lower risk for depression. And we know that depression can also lead to sleepiness in older adults. So again, having the right balance of B6 on board is going to be very helpful. And believe it or not, in older people, it's been shown to decrease symptoms of restless leg syndrome. You might not remember what restless leg syndrome is. That's a creepy, crawly feeling that you get on your legs as you lie down, makes it very difficult to fall asleep. If you've got the B vitamins on board, you're gonna be in good shape. But it's important that you take these in the morning because Vitamin B can be pretty alerting. Now, if you're gonna supplement with Bs, which is one of the things I can recommend, the dose is somewhere between 1.3 and 1.7 micrograms, not milligrams, micrograms. You get plenty of B6 in your everyday foods, but you wanna consult your doctor before you start taking a B6 supplement because too much B6 could actually be toxic, could lead to insomnia. And remember, it's very alerting, so you wanna be careful about the timing of when you take it. Now, you probably know more about B6 than you've ever known in your life, but hold on, we're now gonna jump over to B12. Now, B12 is usually found in animal proteins, but still in dairy, eggs, meat, fish, stuff like that. The correct dosage is somewhere around 2.4 micrograms, not milligrams, but micrograms. So what does it do? It's really important for brain function. It helps support overall cardiovascular health. And the big one is red blood cell formation, right? So we use this in order to help us get more red blood cells, which transports oxygen, which helps with overall sleep. We now know that B12 regulates your sleep-wake cycles by keeping circadian rhythms in sync. Now, there's another vitamin out there that kind of does that. Vitamin D, or the sunshine vitamin, is also a circadian pacemaker. So having both of these on board can actually help quite a bit. In a 2007 study, it was theorized that vitamin B12 may affect the biological process when a person goes from wakefulness to drowsiness to sleep. So that transitionary period becomes very, very important and B6 and B12 are important factors for that. Another vitamin B12 deficiency can cause extreme fatigue and again, sometimes lead to insomnias. I'm gonna be fair. There's some mixed studies on B12 and sleep duration. Some people say that with a deficiency, you sleep less. Some people sleep the same. So you kind of have to start to understand how it affects you. But remember, high levels of B12 are definitely linked to sleep disruptions as well as low levels of B12. So do yourself a favor, talk with your doctor, and see if you can find a balance of the Bs 
just for you. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a patient, and to be fair, I wasn't doing particularly well with this patient. She showed up at my doorstep and she was noticing some very small awakenings, maybe a little bit of sleep disruption. So at first I thought maybe she had sleep apnea. We did a sleep study, no sleep apnea. So then I said, okay, well, I'm gonna regularize her schedule. I'm gonna give her a specific bedtime and a specific wake up time. I'm gonna do it based on something called her chronotype. For folks out there, remember early bird, night owl, those are the chronotypes. If you wanna learn what your chronotype is, head over to chronoquiz. Dot com. That's the quiz that I created where you can learn a ton about that. So we had her do a sleep diary to figure out, is she going to bed at the right time, waking up at the right time? What is she doing? We eliminated caffeine from her system completely, still having the problem. So I was like, I kind of don't know what's going on. Let's go back into your daily routine and see if there's anything that you could be doing or that you've changed that might be having an effect on your sleep. It turns out that she stopped taking her multivitamin. She was more interested in taking specific vitamins. And when we looked, her multivitamin had given her enough B6 and B12 to give her her recommended daily allowance, whereas her new supplementation didn't. So I said, hey, let's either add these two or let's go back on your multi and see what happens. We decided to go back on her multi and guess what? Two and a half weeks later, she started to feel pretty good. So at the end of the day, this was a small factor that had a big impact. I'm thrilled that you've learned about vitamin B and how it affects your sleep. There are several other vitamins out there that you wanna learn about. Another one I strongly recommend to patients is vitamin C. You know, we usually think about vitamin C as something that fortifies our immune system, but it also is incredibly beneficial to sleep. Do me a favor and check those out while you're here on the channel and make sure you're getting enough vitamin Bs in your diet. If you need supplementation, be sure to talk with your doctor. But remember, it's rare to fix insomnia simply by changing your vitamins, so be sure to reach out if you need to to see a sleep specialist. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.